Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Edwin. Qué bien verlo ya en la casa. Ya en el puesto. Brendita, hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Cómo sigue su familiar? Estable, estable. Bueno, eso es importante. Sí, es primero de que va a ir evolucionando mejor. Eso es, ahí seguimos pidiendo. Por que gracias, sea. gracias, muy amable. Me alegra, que me alegra que esté estable, que no me diga que vamos mal. <risa> <risa> hay, que, hay que seguir ahí con hay que ser positivos que el señor sabe lo que está haciendo eso es, eso es lo mejor él sabe lo mejor así es Perfecto. pues nada, aquí estoy con sueño pero lista para ti toda la noche le quedó a ella toda la noche se quedó con ella sí, desde el 10 estoy allá <risa> Híjole. bueno pero mire que Qué bien que tiene la oportunidad que tiene, quien la puede estar cuidando, que las tiene a ustedes porque pueden estar pendientes de ella. Y pues, ni modo, a veces uno dice, ay, que el sacrificio, pero vale la pena porque con sí. los extraños uno no sabe, no puede confiar. Así, claro, sí. Así que mejor uno, mejor uno hace el esfuerzo. Mr. Américo, I cannot see your camera. Don Edwin, no, don Edwin, I can see. You. Estoy con una gran calor, estoy sin camisa. <ríe> Póngase un centrito ahí, aunque sí. Quiero, hoy es el último día con usted. ¿Cómo es no, la cosa? No, no. Solo pregunto, solo pregunto. El 17. ¿Ya la quieres fuera? No, mentira, no. No, solo preguntaba nada. El 17. No, el, el miércoles es nuestro fin de módulo. Ese día, pues cerramos esta etapa del módulo 1 y pues ustedes ya pasan a su básico 2. Eh, ya es otro. Eh, a veces. ¿Ya no va a estar usted? No lo sé, no sé. Espero que sí, yo eso es lo que quiero. <risa> Pero, no, otro entonces, lo que pasa de que acuérdense también de que la idea del aprendizaje del idioma es que ustedes vayan conociendo pues estrategias, acentos y todo. Entonces, a veces cambian el maestro y este. Y a mí me dejan siempre con el uno, me pasan a otro nivel, entonces eh, hay que esperar, ¿sí? hay que esperar, pero el miércoles es nuestro último día, es para ese día ya tienen que tener todo, todo completo, yo sé que ya ustedes ya muchos completaron su plataforma, eh, que todos hayan completado pues el, el número de minutos de clase, todos han sido bastante constantes conectándose pues, entonces eh, el miércoles se cierra esa etapa de ese primer módulo. De ahí, eh, creo que ya más o menos tienen como una fecha tentativa para el inicio del módulo 2. Eh, entonces, para que se pasan quizás alrededor de cuatro o cinco días en lo que se hace la reinscripción, y de ahí ustedes siguen en su módulo 2. Son otros 20 días. De ahí, después de esos 20 días, módulo 3 y así. Este es un aprendizaje es, constante. ¿Cuánto pues tiempo es? Pues es alrededor, yo creo que se toma alrededor de 18, de 18 a 20 meses. Son alrededor de dos años. Desde cero hasta advance. Aquí, 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 ¿cómo estamos? Dos Así años. como estamos, dos años. Créalo que usted, a veces uno dice, ay, es que dos años. Imagínense cuando empezó conmigo, allá, al inicio de la semana que empezamos, aquel 18 de abril, usted dijo, ¡Ay, 20 días, Dios guarda, and we are about to finish, y ya vamos a terminar el módulo 1, y así Bien. cuando menos la espere va a decir, ya voy en el módulo 10, ya voy en el módulo 15, y así pasa, pero la constancia es lo que da el resultado. Excelente. I always say the same, if you are constant, if you are perseverant, if you work, towards your goal, you learn. Because if you don't practice, if you don't do your homework, si no hacen tareas, si no toman notas, ay Dios. Van a pasar aquí tres años. ¿Sabe cuál es el problema? Thank you, teacher. Teacher, ¿sabe cuál es el problema? ¿Cuál es el problema? A ver. Que no se practica. ¿Qué hace usted? Ahí estoy yo puyándolos todo el día. No, o sea, digamos... 
digamos, en el día en el día a día, o sea, yeah. uno tiene que estar recordándose de, de, yeah. de las palabras, de los verbos y todo eso. Es que mira. Ese es el problema, ese es el problema que uno aprende, pero no practica, en, 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 digamos, en el en lugar donde está uno o, o no sé, tal vez tiene alguna idea de cómo poder... Ay, pues yo, fíjense que el, el, el último día de clases tengo como un, un, un listado de cosas que les doy por si yo ya no los tengo en el siguiente módulo. Yo los mando ya preparados para la guerra. Pero eh, aquí se las puedo ir adelantando. Uno cuando se mete a aprender un idioma, uno se tiene que meter de lleno al idioma. Cosas tan básicas como poner su teléfono en inglés. El Facebook ya que en inglés Poner el Facebook en inglés. Si chatea con alguien de este grupo en WhatsApp, hacerlo en inglés. A veces usted dice, ay, qué pena, que, 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 no es que. pero ahí, si usted está con otro que está aprendiendo inglés y le da pena practicar con ese otro, no lo está ayudando, lo está dañando y se está dañando usted porque tiene la práctica, tiene con quién y no lo hace. Ay, que me van a oír, me van a oír aquí que estoy hablando inglés. ¿Y qué tiene? Le digo, pena robar. <risa> no andar hablando otro idioma. Siempre. Miren, un consejo que yo siempre les doy a todos. Ustedes no tienen que tener pena de ser inteligentes, de ser un poco más allá de los demás, de ir más adelante que aquel que todavía está pensando si se inscribe o no. Porque ustedes ya van más allá de aquel que dice, ay, tal vez lleno la forma esa de la insaforma. Ese ya está allá, años luz atrás de usted. Y usted me puede decir, teacher, I am learning English. I can speak English a little bit, but I can speak, right? Ahora ya no me puede decir yo no sé hablar inglés, porque saben un poquito, pero saben. Imagínense si ahorita saben poquito, que solo hemos tenido 20 días juntos. Y yo los he llevado a, a ejercicios de, de intermedio, porque no los he dejado en ejercicios de, de baby basic. Imagínense más adelante. Pero eso es, de, eso es suyo, o sea, usted tiene que andar ahí, mire. Como cuando, yo siempre le digo, esto es como cuando a uno le gusta a alguien. Ande encima de a qué le gusta, qué no le gusta, cómo le gusta, qué palabras se aprende, que no sé qué, qué canciones le gustan, me las voy a aprender. Ahí anda uno, así es el idioma, es igualito. Y ahora vimos los, los places in town, ajá. ¿Qué más hay de ese tema? ¿Qué más voy a investigar yo? Yo me meto, veo videos en YouTube, veo ¿verdad? tutoriales ahí en internet. Veo videos en TikTok de gente que habla inglés, que enseña inglés. No me voy a meter a ver a las que bailan en el parque, ¿verdad? Me han contado que hay de esos TikToks. Entonces eso, Americano. o sea. No, no sabes qué hora es. It's 1909. Mira, Américo, se nos perdió Américo. Entonces. Tiene calor. Tiene calor, pobrecita. Entonces esto es así. Esto es así. No puede quedarse solamente. Imagínense, yo lo veo solo dos horas en el día. Y el día activo tiene más de 14. ¿Qué hacen esas otras 14 si no estoy yo con usted? Pelear con la gente. Ajá. Pero pelear así de repente. Si le quedó la hora de almuerzo. ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacíamos antes en la hora de almuerzo? Comer y todo. Y después ver quizás el Facebook, el WhatsApp. Eh, relajarse un rato. Ahora... Hay que revisar los temas, métase a YouTube, métase a ver temas, métase a ver tutoriales, busque artículos, busque palabras, escriba oraciones, haga cosas para aprender el idioma. ¿Okay? Así como estábamos aprendiendo a hablar español, ¿se acuerdan cuando estábamos chiquitos? Que la mamá nos ponía las planas, ¿verdad? y ella estaba montándole las planas, nos ponía en el libro de lectura, estar leyendo todos los días. Lastimosamente, eh, se, se nos inculca el hecho de leer por obligación. Y no por placer o necesidad. Y el leer es un, la mejor herramienta para el aprendizaje del idioma. Si usted lee, agarra vocabulario, agarra grammar, agarra frases, agarra palabras nuevas, agarra estructuras, agarra pronunciación, si lee en voz alta. Entonces, es una gran belleza la que tiene el idioma. Pero hay que meterse de lleno. Como cuando quiere jugar fútbol, usted anda entrenando en la orilla de la cancha. It's the same. It's the same thing with English. You have to practice. And don't be afraid, don't be ashamed to practice. Ay, es que no van a oír aquí en el comedor porque estamos hablando de inglés. Está bien. 
solo lo va a criticar el que no sabe y el que no quiere aprender. Porque el que está aprendiendo y hoy a dos platicando, ¿qué hace? Se pone ¿verdad? atento. Y de ahí también quiere platicar y quiere practicar él también. ¿Qué me pasa a mí cuando de repente me encuentro turistas o alguien en la calle? Y yo, se me activa el radar del idioma. Y yo, I want to practice. Y ahí voy y me acerco y con, algún, con alguna cosa ahí que pregunten. Y yo, I can help you. And then I go and I speak in English with people. And you might say, like, ay, que esta teacher va. Y va a meter a hablar con gente. No, it's the opportunity to practice. Yo estuve más de dos meses y medio en un, en un lugar que solo se hablaba inglés. Y yo decía, pienso en inglés 24-7. O sea, ya todo era English, 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 English. And, and I felt like a little fish. A mí me sentía como un pescadito, yo bien feliz. Cuando hablaba español, la gente, ah, alguien que habla español. Y me buscaban. <ríe> was like, oh. Así se sienten los que yo acoso cuando hablan inglés. It is the same. So, but you have to be perseverant. You have to work. You have to practice. You have to investigate. You have to be curious to learn more every day. ¿Quién ha sido curioso de meterse a las páginas de donde les mando los juegos? De donde les mando los ejercicios. En esa página hay un montón de ejercicios más. De cualquier tema que se les ocurra. Si usted se va a la página y se dice, voy a ver esta página. ¿Ah? But, ¿quién, ¿Quién lo ha hecho? Ya ven, hay que ser curioso, hay que ser que una vez y decir, quiero ver qué más ejercicios tiene aquí en esta página de la teacher. Yeah. O si no, voy a ir a YouTube. Me voy a meter a YouTube. En YouTube, si usted pone, por ejemplo, places in the city, places in town, y le salen como mil videos de places in town. Si usted pone present continuous, simple present, yeah, you have thousands of videos. English classes in YouTube, yeah, you have hundreds of videos. Readings yeah. in English, pronunciation practice, you have everything. Or if you don't want to look for that, okay? Busque sus canciones en modo karaoke, en inglés, pero no me va a buscar ahí capaz de la sierra. <laughs> no practico karaoke <laughs> in Spanish, right? No, I mean, look for songs in English and practice. The idea is that you find more ways to practice, okay? okay. And, you, and you have an advantage. Si van avanzando más, si van aprendiendo más, ustedes pueden ir subiendo de nivel. Pueden ir subiendo de nivel. Mire, yo creo que, que ya voy más avanzado. Me gustaría evaluarme o algo, no sé. Y ahí van subiendo. So that's the idea. That's the idea. The practice is always good. The practice is always necessary. So don't be afraid to be a little bit more intelligent than the rest. Practice your English. Si les hacen burla, pues ahí déjenlo. Ustedes no saben, yo estoy aprendiendo. But do it. Mire, yo, me, yo miro a, los, a, los, a todos los que trabajan en call center, ¿verdad? ahí por Salvador del Mundo. Yo trabajo ahí en el centro de Salvador del Mundo, en el corazón de todos los call centers. Y ahí vienen en la coaster, ¿verdad? Oh, yeah, blah, 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 in English, right? And I'm like, <laughs> listening to the stories. <laughs> and, and, and it is nice, I mean, because they are not afraid. Ahí vienen en la 30, colgado igual que yo, ¿verdad? Pero todos hablan inglés. And I'm like, really? <laughs> For real? For real? What did you do? <laughs> so, but the idea is that you need to practice, right? Nos vamos a reunir todos a hablar inglés en el comedor, todos los que estamos aquí. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> Con que nos hablemos ya era una base. Hombre, <laughs> aquí lo ando. Aquí lo tenía. Pero... Hello, hello, hello. Uh, nobody even hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, excellent. Hey, see you later. That's a practice. Okay. If you eat with someone that is practicing English, practice your English. Pero no empiecen así de, oh, hi, hello, how are you? Ay, ay, en español vos, porque mira, no, to me, continue <laughs> practicing. Even if you invent or you, I mean, yes, it happens. 
¿Saben lo que hicimos con mi mejor amiga cuando estábamos en la universidad? Nos cobrábamos un dólar si hablábamos español. Y we like, because we didn't want to pay the dollar. And it was like, okay. if you don't want to pay, practice. Si no quieres pagar, practica. So, one dollar for speaking Spanish. And we were forcing ourselves to do it. Because she was a teacher, I was a teacher. Las dos éramos maestras ya. Y cuando estábamos juntas, solo hablábamos español. So what's the point? I had an English speaking person next to me. So my advice for the night, practice, investigate, be curious, do your best all the time, right? And, and that it's going to help you a lot. The investigation, the reading, I mean, write sentences, take notes. That's important, right? Tomen nota de las cosas. Investiguen más allá. It, it is always good. It is always beneficial. Okay? And that is going to help you a lot. So, and for sure, if I have the pleasure to continue with you, I will continue pushing you more and more and more and more and more every time. Because that's, that's what you need. To practice. You need to practice and to develop your skills. Well, after this little motivational night, we are going to go and practice tonight about uh, the exercises that we started, the things that we started working on. And I will start by checking a little bit on the platform, if only if it opens. Okay. Give me just a second. The platform is really slow right now. I don't know what happens. <laughs> okay. Who's talking? Let me open this. It's really hot today, as Americo said. Well, let me just open this. Ah, here it is. We're going to just check out a little bit on this to check that everything is done and for sure to see that we have everything ready, right? Remember that for Monday, we are supposed to have everything ready. So please, uh, <clears throat> let's check it out. So for this part of section number three, that is the one that we have just finished, was the one on which we practiced the WH questions, right? In this right. one, it says like, where do I get a newspaper? ¿Dónde, lo, ¿Dónde consigo el periódico? And you say, at the shop. When does the game start? When is for a period of time, on a specific day. And in this case is on Sunday. So we have the specific period of time. So the best word to use in this one was when. My brother, you are looking for a person. For a person, you use who, right? In this case, we chose who. I play the guitar. It's a general question. What? What do you do in your free time? I play the guitar. The next one. What? I'm sorry. By bus. You are looking for a way, a manner. How does she go to school? By bus, right? And we sent the homework here and it was complete. In the next section, we have to create sentences by scrambling them and unscramble the sentence. In this one, what is the sentence that you created here? ¿Qué oración crearon con estas palabras? What was the sentence you created? Where do you go to school? Exactly. First you have the WH word, then you have the auxiliary, and then you have the subject, the sure. verb, and the complement. And the question mark. Where do you go to school? The next one. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? WH word, auxiliary, subject, complement. What do you do? What about this one? Where does John, Where does John, John, John come, come from? Where does John come from? De dónde viene, dónde nació. Where does John come from? What about this one? Where, where, do you play where, where do you 
play tennis. Play Where tennis. do you play tennis? In the question mark. What about this one? How do how do they how do they how get, do they to, get to, work? to work? How do they get to work? ¿Cómo llegan al trabajo? How do they get to work? Right? And there you have all the different sentences complete, right? Where do you go to school? The next one, what do you do? Where does John come from? Where do you play tennis? And how do you, how do they get to work? WH questions. Remember, WH word, auxiliary, subject, complement, a verb, and complement. That was the second exercise. On the third exercise, it's about the time. We were studying this one uh, the day after uh, yesterday. So it says, it's, what time is it? What is the correct form? You, do you say it's 8.45 o'clock? It's no. at 8.45 or it's 8.45? It's 8.45. It's 8.45. ¿En qué momento ocupamos o'clock? En punto. En punto. ¿Y cuando decimos at? Exactly like that, right? So like at Main Street, for example, at, right? But you don't use it at night, for example, but you don't say at 8.45. It's at 8.45. What time is it? Porque si estuviéramos preguntando a qué hora es tal cosa, ahí sí, it's at 8.45, it's at 6. Pero aquí dice qué hora es. What time is it? What time does the class start? I gave you the example right here. What time does the class start? It starts at, 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 six. at six. Porque aquí sí nos están preguntando a qué hora comienza algo en específico. What time does the class start? It starts at six. Okay. You cannot say in six or on six, right? Because in is for the months and on is for the days. Okay. It starts at six. At va con el tiempo para dar una hora específica donde algo inicia. What time do you arrive to work? What time do you arrive to work? ¿A qué horas llegas al trabajo? At about. Um, at about. At about. At about. Um, at about 8.30, right? Because you cannot say in about, porque es at about. Y o'clock is for a specific times, sharp times, right? Es en punto, and this is 8.30. What time does the academy close? What time? around 8 p.m. Usually around 8 p.m. Because usually on 8 p.m. is not possible. Usually in 8 p.m. not possible. Usually around 8. Because it's like, what time does the academy close? Around 8, alrededor de las 8, right? What time do you usually go to bed? Huh? What time do you usually go to bed? At, at about, about uh, 10.45. At about 10.45, right? It's the same example that we had here, right? What time do you arrive to work? At about 8.30, right? And what time do you usually go to bed? At about 10.45. Porque no todos los días se cuesta 10.45 en punto. No, maybe one day you go 10.30. Another day, 10.47. Another day, 10.50. Right? But imagine if we fall asleep at the same time. Ni que fuéramos maquinita, ¿verdad? Que las 10.45. <laughs> no, it's not possible, right? At about 10.45. Ahí es como alrededor de. De las 10.45 max, right? So there you have the different options of sentences and answers, right? Good. The next one that we have here. It's also for you to practice at, in, and on for the times. We use the class is at 9 a.m. The time at the months in, in March. I had a party 
Specific events? Oh. Oh. On, oh. on my birthday, right? I graduated from university. In 2001, 2001, después del 2000, todo es 2000 y decimos el número, right? 2002, 2003, 2023, right? Los números anteriores al 2000 que teníamos, por ejemplo, this one, let me share it with you. Let me see. Hey, I changed my screen. Wait. <clears throat> All these uh, times before 2000, right? Say I graduated from the university in 2001. So what I was going to explain here that, for example, if you have this one, you read them separate. You say 1996. Depending on the year that you were born, 1984, right? And you divide them. And you divide the times. Todos los años previos al 2000 se leían divididos. 1984, 1996. Pero del 2000 para allá, 2001, 2002, 2003. There are many people who say 2001. Ahí los ahí lo podemos seguir eh, leyendo separados. Say 2023. It's common, right? But oh, as a rule, after 2000, you say 2000 in the year. Right? I graduated from university in 2001. She got married. She got married on oh. September. Right? I think I made a mistake here. It's this one. This is on, on, on. Sorry, on March. Sorry. There you go. For the years, it's in. Right? For the months, it's on. Right? She got married on September. She left to London on March. Okay? So there you have. With the years, in. Okay? Very good. So there you have. The example, remember that with the times you always use at. And the last practice that we have for unit number three, and it says about professions and occupations. Professions and occupations. Where restaurant. can you serve food? Donde se sirve comida? Restaurant. At a restaurant, restaurant. right? She serves food in a restaurant. They build houses. Um, they design. build houses um, on a construction um, site. Construction site. It's a place where they build houses. She teaches English. School. Anywhere. School. At the school. Yo les puedo enseñar clases donde sea, en la calle, en el parque, en el ente, whatever. <laughs> At school. <laughs> At school. She plays instruments. At the concert hall. Very good. The concert hall is the place, the auditorium where you play music. They love animals. Veterinarian, right? Veterinarian. If you are in El Salvador, any profession, right? Aquí en El Salvador, donde sea. Porque en la escuela hay chuchos. En el parque hay chuchos. En todos lados hay chuchitos. Hasta en la fábrica. ¿En la fábrica donde ustedes trabajan hay algún perrito? Gato. Ah, gatos. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. I, I worked in La Sal for 10 years. And they had a lot of cats, but a lot of cats. And they were very beautiful. En el, en el trabajo hay solo igual que el chascarrillo que nos dijo. ¿Cuál? El miau, 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 miau. Ah. Yeah, miau, miau. the meow meow, the meow meow, chuflu, on the glue glue, no more meow meow. So, hey, <laughs> America, I love that you remember those details. <laughs> Qué lindo que se acuerden de mis chistes. <clears throat> so you see, those were the exercises for unit number three. Así que creo que se ya lo terminaron todos. Y si no, pues ya, ya está ahí. 
done. And for unit number four, for unit number four, as you can see here, we have how to use prepositions of place. We have. And one of the first exercise, it's about at, in, and on, exactly like that. If you are in a place, so like, are you in the party? Are you on the party or are you at the party? In the party. In the party? Are you sure? Someone on the party. On, huh? on the party. To give me the answers. I am not going to give you the answers. At the party. At the party. At the party. At the party. Okay. The information is in the top of the page, on the top of the page, at the top of the page. At the top of the page. Up, up. At the top. Vamos a ver quiénes ya hicieron estos ejercicios. Ya, teacher. At the top, bam. The dog is sleeping in the carpet, on the carpet, or at the carpet. On the carpet. On the carpet. Do you live in a house, on a house, or at a house? In the house. Do you live in a house or an apartment? He does swimming on the river, at the river, or in the river? In the river. In the river. I, I, I will follow your answers. No, sir. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Eh, algo muy importante. Cuando ustedes ya hayan hecho algo que ya lo conozcan, ya lo sepan. Hey, ya lo vi, teacher. No duden. Por eso dije, are you sure? Um, mm, <laughs> you did it already. I mean, why do you doubt? At the party. At the top. On the page, right? A la parte de arriba. At the top. On the carpet, right? He's sleeping on the carpet. In the carpet, no puede estar dormido porque no se metió en la alfombra, right? It's on the carpet. The next one, in a house, because you are talking if you live inside a house. The next one, he does swimming in the river, porque usted se mete al río, no anda sobre el río. Eh? Bueno, si va en, en balsa también. In the river, because, because you are swimming, right? So there you go. In un crucero. So that's the first exercise for unit number four. The second, this is what we were talking about yesterday. There is, is for plurals, for singular, sorry, there are plurals. A banana, only one. And how do you mark that it's a singular thing? ¿Qué más le ayuda a saber que esto es singular? A banana, right? A banana, a banana. It's only one banana. Una banana. Mm -hmm. If in this one you have some chairs, chairs, plural, and some, que ya es algunas, right? Eso ya se sabe que es plural. What about the next one that you have here? And it says, lots of books. This is plural form, right? Lots of books. In this one, lots of es muchos. Y books con S al final es plural. Lots of books. What about the next one? I think it's uh, number four. A mirror. There is a mirror, right? This is singular or plural? A mirror. Un espejo. Ah, so that is singular. It's singular because it is a mirror, right? A mirror. If you have 12 cushions, 12. There are. Many, right? What is cushion? What is a cushion? What is it? Aquí es donde yo les digo que tenemos que ser curiosos. Si ya hicieron la plataforma y no investigaron las palabras nuevas, no las he hecho. Cojines, exactly like that, right? Cojines. There are 12 cushions on the sofa, right? And the next one that we have here, I think it's the last one. So, the first one, is singular or plural? There is. There is. No, the Sorry. question is, is it singular or plural? Singular. 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 So we need to use? There is. There is. The second one, singular or plural? Plural. 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 And with plurals we use? There are. There are. 
The third one, singular or plural? Plural. 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 We use? There are. There, there, are. there are. Number four, singular or plural? Singular. 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 With singular we use? There is. There is. There is. There is. What about the number five, singular or plural? Plural. 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 And with plurals we there need? Are. There are. There, there are. are. There you go. That's the way we do it. There are. Right. Exactly like that. We do it like that. In the next exercise that we have here, it's also with in, on, and at, right? Where is Yuri? She's? She at. She's at school, right? At school. The plan is the table. It's on, on, on right? On. Porque no puede estar in the table, porque no está adentro. There is a spider in, 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 está en el lugar, right? in the bath. There is a spider in the bath. John is in, in, in the garden. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Don't doubt. At, at the garden. At the garden? No. In, in the garden. In the garden. <laughs> I will meet you. In the, bar, in, in the cinema. In the cinema? Porque está adentro, no? I will meet you there. I will meet you at, at the cinema. I will meet you at the cinema. Porque te voy a ver allá. Allá te voy a ver at the cinema. Right? I will meet you there. I will meet you at the cinema. Allá te veo. John is in the garden. Porque es un lugar dentro de la casa. Right? There is a spider in the bath because you are inside the bathroom, right? And this one, the plant is on the table because it's on a surface, on, on a surface. And where is Julie? She is at school. It's a place, right? No está usted en el lugar. Por eso decimos, she is at school. Porque estamos hablando de Julie. Si yo estuviera, yo estuviera in the school. Pero no estoy en la escuela. Okay? At the school. Es lo mismo aquí. I will meet you at the cinema. Allá te voy a ver, porque ahorita no estoy allá. No podemos decir in the cinema. Si ustedes ya estoy viendo la película y me llaman, teacher, where are you? Ah, I'm in the cinema. Right now I'm watching a movie. That's different. Okay. So there you go. That's the exercise. What about the last one? One of the last exercises for unit number four. This is about a reading, right? This is an adjective. Who investigated the meaning of huge? Huge. Go to Google right now. Vamos. Agarren su teléfono. Investiguen que es huge. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Pregúntenle a my friend Google. Enorme. Enorme. So do you think that's a negative adjective, a positive adjective, or neutral? Neutral. Neutral. Yes. Okay. Illuminated. Sorry, que tengo aquí la computadora. Neutral. 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 Sorry, que tengo. No, es que mi chucho está ladri, ladri, ladri. No sé si lo alcanzan a escuchar, pero yo sí. <laughs> Illuminated. What is the meaning of illuminated? Neutral. It's neutral, right? Illuminal? Neutral. Smelly. What is the meaning of smelly? Negativo. Aha. Uh -huh. Maloliente. Exactly. So this is negative, positive, neutral? Negative. It's negative. Say, so, hmm. Hey. Creo que te abandonó, Rexona. It's smelly, right? It's like, oh my God, it smells horrible, right? That's a negative adjective, right? Comfortable. Comodo. Comodo. Negative. 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 But comfortable, it's like, ah, what a nice shirt. It's positive. it's positive, right? It's positive. When you say in Spanish, the word cómodo is like, ve que cómodo este. It means lazy. Para nosotros en español significa aragán. 
el decir mm -hmm. cómodo, ve qué cómodo este bicho. No, but in English, cómodo es confortable, es como a gusto, right? Positive. Disgusting. Disgusting. Negative. It's negative. negative. What is the meaning of disgusting? Asqueroso. Bacala. <laughs> Repugnante, <laughs> desagradable, right? That you are like, ah. What is what is one thing that you consider disgusting about food? What is one thing that you consider disgusting about food? La cebolla no. Onion. Okay, onion. onion. Ew. I hate Ajo. pacayas. Pacayas. Oh my god. I hate them. <laughs> I don't like them. No. For Ajo. me, they are no las han probado en relleno, teacher. Well, depending. Quizás el que las pro, que el que las cocinó en su momento no las pudo cocinar, pero sí que les agarré un poquito. Son huevo. Hay que preparar, hay que probar las que hace Brendita. <laughs> so that's disgusting. Or for example, when someone is burping next to me, cuando alguien eruta la par mía, it's like ah, oh, that's disgusting, right? That you say. Come on, don't be like that. Don't be so nasty, right? It's disgusting. In this one, we have one that it's illuminated. It could be positive, right? Illuminado. Brillante. Brillante. Smart, right? That's positive in this case. Illuminated. Illuminado es brillante. Brillante de, con mucha luz. Illuminated. So, in the last homework that we have for unit number four, so you say, I love my office. My office is big and clean. clean. Big and clean. ¿Qué significa dusty? Polvo. Dusty. Uh -huh. Dust is polvo, actually. Dusty. Yeah. Everything is really dusty here. Es muy polvoso, sucio. Dust right? in the wind. Dust in the wind, right? Polvo en el bien. Many people in the hospital. People are plural. They are. There are many people in the hospital. We don't like to have parties at his apartment. It is. We don't like to have parties at his apartment. It is. Narrow. Narrow. Narrow, Narrow means chiquito. Apretado, right? Narrow. Beautiful is positive. And comfortable is positive. So you don't say, we don't like to have parties there. Narrow is the only one that it's kind of negative because it's too small, right? <laughs> I need bananas and some oranges. Much. Much bananas? Some. Much? Some. some. Much lo ocupamos con los nombres incontables. Much sugar, much milk, much beans, right? Some is for the plural forms. Contables, los nombres contables. Some. I need some bananas and some oranges. The new building is so bright. It is... Illuminated. Illuminated. Illuminated, right? It's illuminated. So this was the unit number four. And after this, the only thing that I am going to let you do for the last uh, week, right? Eso va a ser lo último que sí le voy a dejar para que lo hagan ustedes este fin de semana y el lunes ya esté completada su plataforma are the final exams, right? The final exams, they are only four and that's a review of everything, right? The final exams are a review of everything. On Monday, we are going to check the final exams, okay? So I need everybody to have it ready. Todos los tenemos que tener listos ya para el lunes. Algunos ya los terminaron. Así que no problem with this. Okay, so that was the platform for tonight. Do you have any question about this? Pregunta, dudas, comentarios. Siempre que encuentren una palabra nueva, escriban. Okay? That's my, that's my advice. Hey, Ronald, did you cut your hair? Te cortaste el pelo. Nice. <laughs> no, but you have a different hairstyle. 
Voy a andar con un peinado diferente. Ah, no, you don't have the, you don't have the headphones. No tienes los, no tienes los, los, los uh, ¿cómo se llama? No, different. Los, no, That's the difference. Well, let me call the attendance and then we're going to move on the topic for the night. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Let's go. And wait, this is another one. Here I am. Uh, let's see. Okay. Astrid Abigail. Astrid Cita. Present Thank you. Yo sí ya los puedo ver. Ay, de Lisania. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. Eh, hey, Brendita Pipo. ¿Cómo está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Qué pasa? Let's go with Selena Janet Arevalo. Present. Diana Carolina Meléndez. Present. Ayer estuve más extrañando a Carolina. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Isabel Rocío. Present. José Antonio Rivera. Mr. José, you didn't connect today. Hey, tengo un Samsung SM. ¿Quién es? Es nuevo. Yo estaba viendo yo alguien nuevo ahí. Ya lo vamos a investigar. Okay, there we go. Luis Américo Rivas. Luis Humberto Parrilla. Presente. Marta Alicia. Marta Alicia, not here. Norma Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Odalis Marisol. Odalis Marisol. No he dormido, estaba. Podría haber jurado que día la verdad. Pero no, pues puedo la meta. Está comprando, no sabía andarlo de Ana Luises. Thank you. Roxana de Jesús. Yolanda Beatriz. Not here. Ah, it's Mr. José Rivera. Ya lo encontré. Nuestro Samsung. Ese. There you go. Hello. Es que una muchacha se veía, pero es José Rivera. Hola, José. They are in the car. Okay, I will silent it because we don't know. Okay. Good. So, Martita is not here today. Odalis, Roxana, Yolanda, and Brenda Elizabeth Martínez. ¿Dónde está Brenda? Mándenme un mensaje ahorita. Brenda, te anda buscando la picture. Tienes tres segundos para conectarte. Please. Let's start here. We are going to discuss a couple of questions tonight. We are going to discuss a couple of things and let me share them with you so you can read the questions. Here, I have some discussion questions for all of us. And uh -huh. it says, about how many people live in your town or city? About how many people do you think live in your town or city? ¿Cuánta gente vivirá en su, en su, en su colonia, en su ciudad? How many? About how many people? Maybe 7,000. 7,000? Okay. How, how, how many people do you think they live there? Another number? Okay. So what is the next question? 
7,000 people, you say. Okay. What is your favorite park? Why do you like it and where is it located? What is your favorite park? Why do you like it and where is it located? Okay. What is your favorite park? My favorite park is Cuscatlan Park and it's located in San Salvador near uh, Rosales Hospital. It is very beautiful. Parque Cuscatlan is my favorite park. What is your favorite park? My favorite, favorite is uh, Sabu Very good. And where is it located? San Salvador, no. San in San Salvador? In San Jacinto, right? It's located in San Jacinto. Good. Another favorite park? ¿Quién más tiene un parque favorito? Griselda, Ronald, Evelyn. La Puerta del Diablo. La Puerta del Diablo is one of your favorite parks. And where is it located? In San Luis In Los Planes de Renderos, right? It's located in Los Planes de Renderos. Good. Another favorite park? My favorite park in San Luis Talpa. In San Luis Talpa, right? It's the part of the city. Okay. Do you like El Principito? No? The one that it's in, I think it's in Merliot, right? El Parque El Principito? ¿Ya lo han visitado alguna vez? No. no. It is a very beautiful park. It is a thematic park. It's very beautiful. Si lo pueden visitar en Navidad, it's really beautiful. It's really nicely decorated. It's very, very beautiful. Another park that you like? Which Sunset is your park. favorite? Sunset Park. I don't know that one and I want to go. Yo no he ido, pero sí quiero ir. Sunset Park. Where is it located? Puerto La Libertad. In La Libertad Port, right? Very good. What is your favorite place to go shopping? Shopping. What is your favorite place to go shopping? Shopping spot. Uh huh. Which one? The favorite shopping spot. The bomb. Okay, bomba, <laughs> bomba oh. store. In that case is the bomba store because it's the it's the the name of the place. It doesn't change, right? El nombre si ya está especificado. No lo cambiamos, right? Bomba store, you say. I like it too. Another one. Favorite play Metro Centro. Metro Centro is my favorite place. So you say Metro Centro is my favorite place. In my favorite place. I like shopping center. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go. I like to go to shopping center because I like to buy uh, toys and, and, and books and stuff, right? Yo voy por, por los libros, por los juguetes. So I, I really like there, right? Me gustan los juegos de mesa y hay muchos. Bien chévere. So I like to go to shopping center. And the clothes is nice, right? Que un suéter, que una jacket. Que no Yo la, la ropa compro ahí. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I, I love to go there. It's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y Sara, mira. <laughs> y buena marca, buena marca. De, eh, I, I like to go. Los I like hay to descuento go. al dos por uno. El domingo también. <laughs> <laughs> pues sí. Ahí nos saludamos, a, si un día nos encontramos. Please, en ajá, no va a decir, ay, no, la te quiero. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y yo voy a decir, Edwin, Edwin. <laughs> Escondiéndose ahí por los peluches. Para que no, <laughs> no, para nada. Y le voy a decir, hijo, ahí están las ofertas. Pues. So I like to go to shopping center. And what are three good things about your town or city? Dígame tres cosas buenas de su ciudad. Three good things about your town or city. Me. <laughs> Clean. This is beautiful. Which one? This what is, is clean? Okay, it's clean. Okay, it is clean. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is clean. 
Mm. Is it nice? Hot? Cold? Mm -hmm. Is it hot or cold? Es caliente o es helado? It's hot. Right? It's hot. It's hot. It's warm. Who is the mayor of your town? ¿Quién es el alcalde de su ciudad? It's um, Damaris. It's Calente. Damaris. De Santiago, no, no, sí. Okay, Miss Damaris, you have very good citizens. Do you prefer, do you prefer living in a small town or in a big city? Do you prefer to live in a small town or in a big city? Oh, a big city. Small a town. small town. Small town. And a small town, yeah, me too. I, I really love living in a small town. Big cities are very, very, very crowded. So, do many tourists visit your town or city? Do many tourists visit Santiago Nonualco? A lot. A lot or not too much? So much. Okay. So in that case, you say many. Yes. Many tourists visit my city. Right. Many tourists visit my city and well we can compare compare your town or city with another town what makes it different que lo hace diferente santiago no alco to san salvador what is different what is the difference um santiago no alco is más fácil en it's, cuanto a uh, apoyan, movimiento. Okay, it is quiet, right? Santiago Nonualco is quiet. Es más silencioso, más, más como calmado, right? It's quieter than San Salvador, we can say. Another difference? Is it bigger or smaller? Santiago Nonualco is bigger than San Salvador or smaller than San Salvador? Smaller, smaller right? We have more traffic in Santiago Nonualco or in San Salvador? San Salvador. San Salvador. Yes, aquí no cabemos. We have more traffic here in the country. So that was a very good practice. In this one, I have another practice here, but this one is with the places that we studied yesterday. You can borrow a book here. What is the name of this place? You can borrow a book here. If you don't know something, tell me the question. Library. It's a library, right? A library. A library. Borrow is prestar, right? You can buy groceries here. Do you know what's the meaning of groceries? Supermarket. Aha, but what is the meaning of groceries? Comestible. Comestible, right? Oh my God. Supermarket. Okay, ustedes me quieren y no van a criticar mis letras. You can buy medicine here. Pharmacy. In the pharmacy, right? Pharmacy. Okay. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. You can study here. School. The school, school. right? School. The school. Don't say it's school, okay? It's a school. You can see all things here. Museum. The museum, mm -hmm. right? Museum. The museum. The museum. <laughs> you can see lots of animals here. So, the zoo, right? The zoo. You can buy bread here. Bakery. 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 Right? Bakery. Bakery. You can keep your money here. Bank. 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 
You can see the doctor here. The clinic, right? The clinic. You can exercise here. Gym. The gym. Gym. The gym. You can eat here. Restaurant. Restaurant. Right? You can eat here at the restaurant. Okay. Oh my God. Restaurant. Yes. You can buy, you can buy a postage stamp here. The one that's on the office. The post office. Very good. The post office. The post office. The post office. What about this one? You can get on a plane here. Se pueden subir a un avión aquí. Airport. 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 Pet shop. A pet a shop, pet. right? The pet shop. Pet. The pet shop. Adopte, adopte. No lo compre. You can play outside here. Park. The park, park. right? You can use here. The it's the park. And you can walk here. Aha. Huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. What is the name of the place on the street where you can walk? ¿Cómo se llama el lado de la calle donde puede caminar? ¿Cómo se llama ese lado de la calle donde usted puede caminar? Pero tomar. Sí. Acera. How do you say acera in English? Ni idea. Google it. Go ahead. Investigate. Investigate, investigate. How do you say acera in English? Aceration. No. Acera. No. How do you say acera in English? It starts with S. How do you say acera in English? A space walk. Mm, no. No, ni idea. no idea. Letter. Give me a letter and I will tell you. Okay. Oh, letra. Y vamos a ver si latina. La T. No. No, letter T. Sorry. No. Letter. Ajá. Letra. Américo, dice la A, la A ya está ahí. No, 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 no. No se quiere ahorcar. Ajá. Letter. Dime, letra. I. Sí. C. Sidewalk. W. W. Sidewalk. Ya lo salvó Grisel. Griselda. Lo salvó Griselda de morir. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. Okay, let me just erase this one, right? As you are not going to die, he's going to be very happy. Cera. <laughs> Ese muñeco está contento. Por eso, porque no murió. Sidewalk. Sidewalk means acera, right? That is the meaning of sidewalk. Sidewalk. Acera. I am very bad at drawing people. Soy muy mala de igual. There you go. Sidewalk. Sidewalk, ese es el lado de la calle. Y es lógico porque dice side es lado, right? Sidewalk, lado para caminar a sidewalk so 
that's a, a good practice, right? About the activities that you can do and the places where you can do the activities, right? It's a very good way to practice. I have another one that it's very similar to this one, but this one, you don't have the words. And this is different vocabulary. What is number one? Ronald, can you read it? I can see a movie at an uh -huh. I can see a movie at cinema. At the cinema, right? You can see a movie at the cinema. At the cinema. Let me just write it. Oh, no, I cannot write it. I can borrow books from. Where can you borrow library. books from? Library. From the library. 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 Right? From the library. library. I can play outside in a. I can play park, outside park, in a park park, 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 park. park, very good. I can buy bread at a bakery. 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 I can wash my clothes bakery. at the hey. laundry. At yeah. the laundry. Okay, at the laundromat. Laundry. Here, 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 here. Yeah. At the laundromat. The laundromat is el, el, pues, el lavado de ropa, right? Donde, la lavandería. Or you can say the laundry shop or the laundry room, but this is in a house. The laundromat is the place. I can buy medicine at a pharmacy. pharmacy. At a pharmacy, right? At a pharmacy or a drugstore. I can see many beautiful pictures. I can see many beautiful pictures at a Museum. Museum. museum, museum, right? Museum. I can exercise at a gym. gym. I can mail a letter at a post office. At a post office, right? At a post office. I can cross the street at a Crosswalk. crosswalk. What is a crosswalk? Son esas Rock. líneas blancas que están en la calle. ¿Cómo se le llaman en español? La cebra. Dice. Paso peatonal. El paso peatonal. Exactly, Américo. That's the right word. The crosswalk is that part. I can see a doctor at a hospital. At a hospital. I can go to another city or town and stay for a few nights in a I can go to another city and stay and sleep for a few nights in a ¿Dónde duermen si van a otra ciudad? In a hotel, right? I can buy some meat, fruits and vegetables at the supermarket, the market, the grocery store, right? You can say the grocery store as well, right? Or the supermarket. I can walk outside on a... I can walk outside on a... I can see many old things at a... I can see many old things at a... Supermarket. Museum. <laughs> museum. <laughs> At a supermarket. At a museum, right? At a museum. Sí, pero en los supermercados puedes ver cualquier cosa también. No, 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 no. But this one, it's many old things. Muchas cosas viejas. Viejas. Yes. Yes. Mm, pero también Depende. hay viejas. ¿eh? Sí, también hay viejas. Pero esas viejas no las va a ver usted pues. al supermarket. Porque mire su esposa, pau, pau. <laughs> many old things, mire, niña, pega, pega ahí la novia. I can see many old things at a museum, right? At the park, you will say, in the center of San Salvador. Uh -huh. No, in el asilo. No, that's not from God. That's not from God. I can see many old things at the museum, right? At the museum. So that's it. A little bit of practice, a very good practice on vocabulary. Very nice job. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Where are you right now? In my? 
Okay. I found in my house. In, in my, my house. house. Tell me three things that you can do in your house. Tres cosas yeah. que pueden hacer en su casa. Sleep. Watch TV. Watch TV. What else? Play, Play PlayStation. <laughs> Exercise. Exercise. Uh -huh. What else? Take a shower. Take a shower. Kids. Kids. Eat. Eat. No. Three things that you can do in my house. Kids. Tú puedes hacer niños en esa casa. Y va a que lo hace. Okay. English is important to know the word that you are using. Imagínese que usted ponga en un examen que puede hacer niños en su casa. And I can say yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you can do it right but no eat eat you can sleep you can take a shower you can cook you can watch tv you can do many things it's your house right very good job you can go to the restroom you can take a nap you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you want in your house well so as you can see here as you can see here, we have been working and developing all these things related to your manual, right? I told you yesterday, download your manual because we're going to use it. This is what we started doing yesterday. Esto es lo que empezamos a hacer ayer, cuando ustedes estaban haciendo ahí su dream city with the different places, right? And we have here the bank, the mall, the restaurant, the sports palace, the park, the arrows company it's the school the church the city hall book world right you have many different places in the town but i am going to show you one right now and i'm going to show you one here and this is individual right eso lo van a hacer individual no le soplen a nadie Find the places in town in the picture. Escríbanlo. Ustedes escríbanlo y después lo vamos a dictar. Find the places in town in the picture. Don't say, don't say. Find the places in town. En una sola frase, en una sola línea. No, I mean, find them. I, there are many. There are like 10. Anotamos y después le decimos. Yeah. Right now, just write them down. Ahorita solo anoten. No diga para que no le ayude a todos los demás. Repeat, teacher. I need you to find the places in town. Okay? Aquí les puse una sopa de letras. Find places in town. Busquen lugares de la ciudad. Ahí escondidos. Mm -hmm. Ahí les puse un ejemplo. El primero. Gas station. Find more, but don't tell me, okay? Pero no me lo digan, solo escríbanlo. Si no, ya le va a hacer el trabajo a los demás. Ya, te, ya tengo cinco. Okay, continue looking for more. Me siento como los que hacen en vivo de TikTok. Busca la palabra, busca la palabra. <laughs> Find some more. Ahí sale Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu, come on. Okay. 
No vayas a chuquear el piso. Mañana me pone a cargar, me pone a cargar la tabla. Sí. Me le pone a cargar la tabla del niño, por favor. Si se porta bien, si sí, no, no. <laughs> Do you have them? Five, four, three, two, one. Stop the bus. Give me words, or you can mark them. Ahí en su en su aplicación sale un lapicito y dice anotar. Ustedes lo pueden ocupar para escribir o marcar sobre la pantalla. You can use it. Hay un lapicito a un lado que dice anotar y usted lo puede ocupar para hacer anotaciones en mi pantalla. And I can see it. ¿Quién tiene el lapicito ahí? ¿Quién tiene el lapicito en la aplicación? No, no se mira. O en la barra que le sale de... Yo lo tengo. Vaya, pongámoslo. Ahí está, ahí anda de... Isabel, pero con contacto. <risa> ya, ya vi que no soy la única. Ya vio en mi supermarket. There you go. <risa> supermarket. Ok, ahí tuvimos uno. Américo, thank you. Restaurant, Evelyn. Evelyn, what is that? Hotel. Okay, books. Bookstore. Uh -huh. Drugstore. Hotel. No puedo no. marcarlo, pero está hotel. También. Okay, hotel. Where is it? Post office. En el mío no hay el lapicito, teacher, pero yo hay varios. Okay, which ones? ¿Cuáles otros? A ver. Ok, ok. Drug store. The drug store, right? The restaurant, right? We have the restaurant right here. We have the drug store right here. The drug store. We have the hotel, right? We book have store. the bookstore. Book store. We Super have market. the supermarket. 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 We have the post office, right? The post office. Se puede vintage. Yes. I don't know if you can do it, but I can do it. The post office. And what else? Um, the bank. What is that? The bank. Mm -hmm. The bank. Good. Another one. Okay. Another one? No more? No more? Restaurant, the stool. No, restaurant, it's done. Anything else? No? Alguien que ha encontrado otra? Restaurant. Ya yeah, está. El restaurant is done. Mm -hmm. Only that one? Yeah, because the tourist to the pow? No, doesn't work. So those were the places. Those were the places that we have, right? So 
We have the post office, the drugstore, the hotel, the bookstore, the restaurant, the supermarket, and the post office, right? Those were the different places that we have in town. Very good job, eh? You did an excellent job finding the different places. I have here, in the first picture, what do we have in the first picture, people? What is the first picture that we have? This one, what is this first picture? What is the name? Bank. The bank, right? It's the bank. Tell me two things that you can do in the bank. Two things that you can do in the bank. Uh, uh, safe. Take Office. the money. Uh -huh, take money and? Pay the bills. And pay the bills, right? Pay the bills and get money, right? What is the get next? Money. Get money, get debts, right? Adquirir alguna deuda. You can do it as well. And <laughs> what is the next one? It's a drugstore. What are two things that you can do in a drugstore? Two things that you can do in a drugstore. Buy vitamin. Buy vitamins and what else? ¿Qué más buy hacer sueros, buy... <laughs> buy medicine. You can buy medicine. What about the next place? ¿Cuál es el siguiente lugar, people? A post. A post office. What are two things that you can do in the post office? Send letter. Send letters and receive letters. Receive letters, right? You can send letters and you can receive letters. Good, very good. What about the next one? The gas station. What can you do in the gas station? Put gasoline. You can put gasoline. Good. What else? Put air in the tire. You have to put air in the tires, right? Put air in the tires. Ponerle aire a las llantas. What about the restaurant? Mm -hmm. What can you do in the restaurant? Eat. Eat, eat, eat right? You can eat. eat and eat meal. Eat and. Oh. Utensilio de cocina, como se dice. Yeah, the utensils, the, 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 that's not something that you can do at the restaurant. What else can you do at a restaurant? You can talk with friends. You can drink something. You can eat something, right? Those are the things that you can do in a restaurant. What about the bookstore? Books. Read a book. You can read books and buy books. And buy books, right? You can buy books and you can read books. Yesterday we created a big, big list of different places in town, right? Here we have a, I don't know if there is something that we didn't check yesterday. No sé si hay alguno aquí que no vimos ayer. Here I have, I have many here. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger, right? There, there you have the pupusas place, the park, the bookstore, the bar, the grocery store, the discotheque, the car garage, the funeral, the butchers. Ah, the hardware store. Este no lo vimos ayer. Este no lo vimos ayer, pero se los incluí en la de hoy. The hardware store. Es como vidri, right? Where you can go and buy different things for construction. The hardware store is una ferretería. The dental clinic is where you go to fix your teeth, right? The dental clinic. The beauty salon, when you can do your hair, right? Hey, let me see. The tire repair shop, una llantería. The tire repair shop. The computer shop es una tienda de computadoras. The dry cleaners es donde puedes ir a hacer, eh, es el dry cleaning, es como la, 
la lavandería también. The shoe shop, the chapel, el templo, right? Hey, let me see. The port, como la libertad, right? La libertad port. The monuments are specific places that you have in the city. Can you give me examples of monuments that we have in El Salvador? What monuments do we have in El Salvador? Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Salvador del Mundo. El amigo lejano. Okay, el hermano lejano. La chulona. Yeah, la chulona. It's a very iconic thing, right? La Mujer Azul. Why we have monuments there? La Which one? La chulona de nuda, le digo. La chulona, thank you. <laughs> yes. What else? Another cathedral, right? The cathedral, Santa Ana's cathedral, as well, it's another monument. Mm. Let me see. El Tazumal. That's a, well, but no, those, that is a touristic place, right? It's not a monument. The monuments are the ones that you create. So, eh, Salvador del Mundo, yes, right? Yo me asomo a la parte de mi trabajo y lo miro. <laughs> Salvador del Mundo. The store, right? It's the one that we were talking about yesterday, the cinema, the eye care center. The eye care center is una óptica. Donde puedes ir a verte tus ojitos. The club. The convention center. Okay, the convention center is a place where you can get together, right? Un centro de convenciones, como Cisco, por ejemplo. And there you have the fire station, the jail, the rescue station. The rescue station is donde vamos a los animales rescatados. The rescue station. What about uh, the temple? Yo creo que lo había puesto, el templo. The judge center, the flower shop, la tienda de flores. The souvenir store is la tienda de recuerdos, right? That's the souvenir store, this one. The graveyard is el, el cementerio también. The embassy as well. And customs. Customs is la frontera. And a recreation place is un lugar recreativo, like a park or something like that. So these are extra vocabulary from the one that we had yesterday. And based on this one, we are going to go and do the following. Here you have, I have this example. Where do you go if I need? Where do you go if I need? And this one is the example of, a, of the places. I need you to write, okay? Necesito que todos escriban. Vamos a hacer nuestra lista de, de cosas que necesitamos comprar. I need you to make a list of 10 objects. 10 cosas que quieran comprar. 10 cosas que quieran comprar. Write on your notebook. 10 objects. Comprar de qué, como qué. It's anything. You can, you want to buy a car, a cell phone, um, a pair of shoes, a cat, a dog, a bananas. Cookies, I don't know, 10 products, 10 cosas que ustedes quieran comprar. An iPhone, a tablet, the newspaper, eh, a, a cake. I don't know, 10 things. Escriban 10 cosas que quieran comprar. Se lo vamos a mandar a Mr. Beast para que nos la marque. So there you go, 10 things. Write it in your notebook. Thank you. 
finish? Terminaron su wish list. Esa es su, su lista navideña. What do you want to buy? Ten. Only ten. Okay. Give me a like if you finish. Deme un like ahí en las cámaras si ya terminaron. No yet. Ten things. <laughs> You're thinking like, what else do I need? Piensen, piensen, piensen. Okay. Help me with mine. Aquí tengo yo la mía. Ustedes me van a ayudar a hacer la mía. You are going to help me with mine. And here you have the answer. Here you have the form of the answer, right? I have here the form of the answer. And I have here the objects that I need, right? I say, people, I need to buy an aspirin. And you tell me, teacher, you can buy an aspirin at the drugstore. You can buy an aspirin at the supermarket. You can buy an aspirin at the pharmacy. You can buy an aspirin in the grocery store. ¿Dónde más puedo comprar una aspirina? En la farmacia. At the pharmacy, at the gas station. I can buy an aspirin uh, in, in Dollar City, in the supermarket, right? All these places you can buy an aspirin. <laughs> I need to buy bread. Where can I go? Sure. Tell me all the options. Teacher, you can buy bread. Aquí está la forma de cómo me tienen que responder, no solo supermarket. You can buy bread. You can buy bread. No se puede decir, I market. want to buy, teacher. No, 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 porque me está, dando, me, está dando una, me está dando una recomendación a mí. En este mm. caso, me decía, oh, no, teacher, you can buy bread. You can buy bread. At the supermarket. At the supermarket. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Dónde más puedo comprar pan? You can buy. You can buy bread at a bakery. At a bakery. ¿Dónde más? Here in El Salvador. You can buy bread on the street, <laughs> on the store, right? On the store, on the corner. You can, yeah. Always. You can buy bread at. You can buy bread. Um, you can buy bakery at Rosario. At bakery at El Rosario Bakery. Very good. At Bam Bam. At La Tecle. <laughs> you can start here. San Martin. At you San Martin. Very good. A la señora de la esquina. Yeah, to the lady on the corner. Yeah, always <laughs> near the supermarket on the corner there is bread. Eso es de ley. Va usted al supermercado y en esquina hay pan. <laughs> All the time. Where can I buy a dictionary? You can buy a dictionary. Buy a library. library. At the library. At the library. What else? You can buy uh, you can Cervantes buy library. At Cervantes library. Very good. You can buy... You can buy a... A dictionary at a supermarket. At the supermarket, yes. At Dollar City. Dollar Where City. can I buy gasoline? You can buy gasoline. You can buy a Texaco, a gasoline, Texaco. <laughs> a Texaco. You can buy a Puma. You can buy Uno, one. <laughs> you can buy... You can buy at, porque si solo decimos you can buy Uno, you can buy Puma, es que yo me voy a comprar la gasolina entera. No, you can buy... At, la puedes at, comprar en, ¿ok? 
I need to buy a sandwich. I need to buy a sandwich. You can buy in Subway, you can buy a McDonald's, you can buy at... <laughs> uh, <laughs> On the market, on the supermarket. The market, supermarket. You can buy at... Uh, on the street. The corner. On the corner, right? I need La to buy stamps. You can buy stamps at uh, post station. At the post station, at the post office. I need to buy a sweatshirt. Un sweater. Un you sweater can buy this. at... You can buy a uh, shopping at <laughs> shopping center. Very good. You <laughs> can buy it at shopping center, definitely. You can buy it on the market. You can, you can, you can go to Sima. Sima. You <laughs> can buy at. Uh, you can buy a uh, Metro Gangas. Metro. <laughs> and the last you can one. Buy at center. At the you center. Buy, uh, right? Meta la mano y revuelva. <laughs> I go and I say like al pase Messi. You can go to the market like that one. He <laughs> say el pase mes. I need to buy travelers checks. Listo comprar cheque de viajero. Where can you I go? You can buy a agencia escamilla. At escamilla, I didn't remember. At the travel agency, right? At the agency. travel agency, agency. and also at the bank, maybe. I don't know if they sell it there. So exactly what you did with me. Is what you are going to do with your group, okay? Everybody on the group are going to say, I need to buy, I need to buy a cat. Where do I go? Ah, you can buy a cat eh, on Guayitas, on the bed, on the pet shop, right? And then you start giving the options, okay? And then the person goes with another thing and another person. Se van a ir tomando turnos. Todos van a decir una cosa y de ahí otra otra cosa, okay. otra otra cosa. And then you are going to help each other, okay? Is it clear what we are going to do? Yes, no, like horchata. You are going to do exactly the same as we did with your group, okay? The question is, I need to buy. The sentence is, I need to buy. And you tell me the product. And everybody says, you can buy this one at, and then you give the option, okay? We are going to have very small groups. We are going to have only three groups. And let me see. Okay, I'm going to move one from here. Here. And I will move this one. No, I think I will move. Okay. There. So I have five, five, and four. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go to the groups and practice exactly as I did with you. Okay. Así como yo lo hice con ustedes, ustedes lo van a hacer en su grupo. Go ahead. Okay, so I have Edwin and Mr. Jose. And I don't know if you are going to join the group. Okay. Mr. Jose, I don't know if you are going to join to practice. And Edwin, I don't know if you're going to join with the other account. Okay, let's go and see how they are doing on the practice. Thank you. 
you can buy a a um, in en metro centro lo puedes comprar <laughs> you can buy laptop at metro centro at Siman at Radio Shark mm, Radio Shark you can buy a laptop in what is I in Walmart mm -hmm. <laughs> yes you can buy a, lap, a laptop at At Siman is the most at La Curacao. You can buy a laptop only sport. At only sport, very good. In La Huella de Oro. <laughs> In La Cornuvo. As well, you can buy a laptop there. <laughs> Second hand, but yeah, you can use it, right? Si la quiere de segundo uso. You can go to those places. De segundo uso, you can buy a uh, Mercado Negro. At the market. You can go to the black market, to Las Pulgas, and then you can find it there. Good. Continue, continue. Pues, Ajá. Hello. Sería solo un lugar por, por lo que necesita. Can... Porque podríamos poner you can buy Class uh, food and classes. Classes. Glass is solo one. Classes. You can buy glasses at food You can buy glasses at cinema. You can buy glasses at. What else? Mm -hmm. uh, at food and then. But you can mm -hmm. you can say it. I mean, it's, it is not very good. A food and travel. You can. Is this a cat? A cat manoseado. It's a cat. It's a cat. That's right. It's a cat, right? ¿Qué hice? No sé qué me hice yo. No me miro. You are here. I can see you. Nosotros sí la vemos. Nosotros sí la vemos. No sé qué le hice. Astrid, ¿puedo... can you show me the cat? Podemos bien? poner you can buy food at at Pollo Campero. You can buy food at Pollo Campero. We can see your camera. Yes. Ya se puede ver. Ahora sí. Ok. Ya Astrid nos presentó al gato ahí. Sí, what is the what is the name of the cat? El nombre del gato. What is the name of the cat? Se llama Luca. Luca. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's so beautiful. It's very oh, good. Es rescatado. Ay, that's even more beautiful. Por eso es tan cariñoso. Quiere amor. Sí, es bien niñón. Ay, así déjelo. Bien. <laughs> Entonces. Yo puse que yo necesito un corte de cabello. Ah, you need a haircut. You can go to Vidal's. No llegó a tanto, teacher. No, it's just an example, right? You can go to, to, to the hair salon, to the hair salon in your neighborhood, to the Valdivieso salon. ¿Cómo lo Siempre vamos a poner you can buy ear salon. No, no, no. You can no. go. In that case, because you say, I need a, I need a haircut. In that case, it's a service, right? Si es un servicio, I need a haircut. You say, you can go to, and then you say, you can go to the hair salon. You can go to the hair salon. For example, if you need therapy, you can go to the psychologist. If you need medicine, you can go to the clinic, right? So because those are services that you have. I'm going to go to the last group. I will come back. Ya no. Let me see. I have this one. Yes. Ajá. You can buy. Mucha cosa. <laughs> you can buy what? Uh, I want. 
A root guy. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a roommate. A roommate. Room guy. Si quiere pintar los ojos. Okay. Un mayor algo así, ¿no? ¿Y qué, qué, qué es lo que quiere comprar? ¿Quién es? Ronald. Si quiere oh, pintar los ojos. Selena. Ah, Selena. ¿Qué es lo que quiere comprar, ah, Selena? Selena? Quiere comprar un juego de sala, pero no. Ah, Ay, y se investigando cómo se escribía. ¿Cómo se escribía qué? Juego de sala. Juego de sala. Juego de sala. Sí. Es... Ajá. Rumbo ahí. No, 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 no. <laughs> that is translation. No, that is furniture. Oh. I need to buy furniture. Okay, give me just a second. I will send it on the chat. I need to buy furniture. <laughs> furniture or I need to buy sofas. So right? I need to buy sofas. So chair. Or I need to buy no chairs are like chairs. for the for the uh, for sí, the yes. dining room. This is on C in specific. But I need to buy furniture, like muebles. Or I need mm. to buy sofas, right? Because the room game, see, sí, a room game is la, trans, la traducción exacta de juego de sala. Pero eso es juego de lugar, <laughs> right? Es que eso es lo que sí. quiere comprar ella. No, but... <laughs> no, no así le decimos inglés. nosotros en inglés. En inglés es otra cosa. ¿verdad? Nosotros le decimos juego de sala. Pero eso se llama sofas en inglés. Sofas. Okay. How, how, well, share, how do you say mesa de noche? Night table. Night table. Mm. Night table, yeah. yes. Yeah. Eso sí es una, una traducción literal. Right? Uh, Solo que este night va primero. Ah, the night table, yes, porque es como la mesita de noche en la que pones a la parte de tu cama. That's a night table. Uh -huh. You can buy a Así night es. table. A night table. Que les digo see? que ya tengo mi lamparita de noche, pero necesito una mesa de, de noche. So, yes, in that case, it's like the night table. Or another form to call it is a side table. A side table es una, una mesita, una mesita chiquita que puedes poner a un lado de, de algo. The side table, uh -huh. right? The chairs, the sofas, or furniture. Furniture son los muebles en general, muebles. Necesito comprar muebles. I need to buy furniture or I need to buy sofa. I need to buy a sofa or I need to buy a love seat. A love seat es, un, es el sofá, pero solo para dos. That's a love seat. Oh. Okay. Cuando vayamos a ver las piezas de la casa, los vamos a conocer todos. Okay. A love seat. <laughs> and sofas and furniture. Good. Very good. So, continue helping each other. Okay, sigan ayudando entre todos ahí. I will continue. Oh. Tomar sopa, lo <laughs> que sea. <laughs> una palabra nueva. Which one? Spoon. Spoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you say cuchara in English? What, how do you say? Spoon. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Spoon. 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 Spoon, fork, and knife. The spoon is cuchara. Spoon. Fork is tenedor. Uh, and knife is cuchillo. Cuchillo. Fork, ¿qué dijo? Fork. Tenedor. Ah, fork. Be careful because fork is one thing and pork is another. Pork es puerco. Pork es tenedor. Pork. Porky, porco. Porky, ajá, porky. That's why. Pork, porky. Puerquito, dice. ¿Qué, qué, what? Es que la palabra no atacó aquí la compañera que... Hasta, el, la, hasta la Google de me, hasta la Google que os enseñan aquí porque no la encontraba no it is like uh, I was in another room and they wanted to, to buy uh, they were telling me I need to buy a game room and I was like what and I was like a game room what is a game room or a room game and then they were fighting right pero la cosa es que querían un juego de sala pero lo buscaron así mm. 
así literal. Vendemos hasta el juego de. No, pero game, eh, in that case, juego de sala, los muebles en general se llama furniture. 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 Or you say I need to buy a sofa, right? There, that is like just How one. do you say mueblería, teacher? Mueblería. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the place where they do it. Yes. Furniture store. Furniture. A furniture store. <laughs> a furniture store. Eso sería una venta de muebles. Furniture. Furniture store. Okay, so I am going to take everybody back. No vamos de regre a la sala. Por favor. Let's go. Okay, students are coming back from the breakout rooms. Welcome back, my dear class, welcome back. So what was the strangest thing that you helped to buy? What was the strangest thing that you helped to buy? What was the strangest thing that you helped to buy? ¿Qué fue lo más extraño que ayudaron a comprar? Did you say like, ah, what do you need what? <laughs> What was the strangest thing? Un drum, dijo. Uh -huh. Un compañero. Un drum. Un drum. Hey, un drum. Yeah. Where do you buy a drum? <laughs> Yo le dijeron un drum. Vaya, guay. Where? Un drum. Un drum. Un drum. Un drum. Tomar video de, de, de alto, en lo alto. A drum. Mm -hmm. You can buy it in the in, in Radio Shark. You can buy it in Simang. You can buy it at. Eh... No, I ya busqué. No well, hay. what what about in the in? Pídelo the... en Amazon. Pídelo en Amazon. Yeah, hay... in, in, yeah sí, online. He, he visto he visto en en los en unas tiendas en Facebook, pero. Yeah, you, you, you can do it entre... on, you can buy it on Facebook Market. And en you can metro, also in metro, in metro centro, you can find it in metro centro, or you can go to these uh, these stores, the Chinese stores in the center. <laughs> Hay unas tiendas chinas en el centro. Sí, sí. That they have many of many things of technology. The best thing that you can do, go to Amazon, buy it in Amazon. It's sure. Yeah, that's the best thing that you can do. So a drone. What else? Otra cosa rara que, que ayudaron a comprar. No. Only normal things. Where, imagine that I need to buy, I need to buy, let me see, plants. I need to buy plants. Where can I go? Where can I go if I need to buy plants? Um, buy plants a uh, flower shop. At the flower shop, aha. Uh -huh. But in the flower shop, I can buy flowers mostly. But Rose. where can I buy plants? Nursery garden. At the nursery garden. Very good. The nursery garden, El Vivero. I right? remember I gave you. I need to buy. 
I need to buy uh, pupusas. Where can I go? You can buy a loquita. You can buy pupusas. Remember the complete sentence. You uh -huh. can buy pupusas. You can buy pupusas in the loquita. You can buy pupusa at a los planes de renderos. At los planes de renderos. Yeah. There is one store that buenas. is my favorite there. Buenas, buenas. Yes. There is one store that it's exactly on Yo the no end. Tan buena noche, te diré. No te oh, okay, okay. Ah, it's because you were there, right? You were near Los Planes. That's good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, I, I really like it. Oh. Hay un lugar que tiene como unas, unos grandes. Como, bungalows. Bungalows, ajá. No, 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 pero no es los bungalows. No bungalows. It's in the entrance, right? They have these like big houses. Set the two floor houses. It's very beautiful. I don't remember the name, but it's Artico? a big pupuseria. Is it Latico? No, no, it's Latico. I think it's Carlita or something like that. I don't remember the name, but it's very beautiful. Yeah, I think it's Carlita or something like that. I don't remember the name, but it's very beautiful. Yeah, I think it's Carlita or something like that. I don't remember the name, but it's very beautiful. Yeah, I think it's Carlita or something like that. Que las han Ajá, armado ahí en la pulsería. Ese colegio, abajito bungalow está ese. It's a very beautiful place. I like it. It's one sí, of my favorites. Para que conozcamos. Yes. In a bus, you can rent a coaster to go. Vamos a rentar una coaster para ir. So, if you, need, if you need to buy dog food, where can you get it? Dog food. You can buy. Dog food? Ajá. Where? Uh, at the supermarket right you can buy dog food at the supermarket excellent job my dear class so in this one this is what we were working on today on in and at right and these are the examples that we have from the book in this case we are going to jump a little bit on these minutes that we are missing and we have the following. I work in the bank that is First Avenue and Barrios Street. This one, on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street. In El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. At the meeting room, at work, at the bank. If we have this one, I work in the bank that is on on, on, First, on Avenue. First Avenue, Avenue, right? Because you have here the name of the street. On Avenue. First Avenue. I work in the bank that's on. I work the in the bank First that is that is on. on First Avenue. On, on First Avenue, Avenue and, and Barrios street. street. We see you, training room or the cafeteria, A specific places. Yeah. Uh, at. at right we have a specific at. places we use at we see we you, see you at, at we see you at training at the training yeah. room or, or at, 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 the cafeteria, at the cafeteria at the cafeteria my relatives go to the mall that is roosevelt street on on, on right on roosevelt street um, um, okay. The factory is located in, in, in La Libertad, right? Because you have a specific place in La Libertad, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Anna works in the company that is town. Um, at. Está mm. en el pueblo. In. In town. In. In town, right? Wow. We work at the company that is in town. The next one. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Aquí ya pusieron la respuesta. At the meeting. <laughs> Mi manual. Por eso no le, no le llamo. At, at. I, <laughs> I am at, at the meeting room, right? They are at the meeting room. And we are going to do this on the next class. We are going to continue with this part. I need you please to help me 
and complete this practice on the conversation. Right? Practice the conversation for Monday. Practice the conversation. And I need you to investigate a little bit. Ese va a ser un tema que quizás le voy a meter un poquito extra del, del, del manual. Pero I need you to investigate the use of plurals. Okay. I need you to investigate the use of plurals. Okay. The use of plurals. It has different rules. Okay. Pero no quiero quizás dejarlos ir sin que los conozcan. Because you are going to use it. The use of plurals for Monday. Okay. Investigate that. And we're going to use it in class. So please keep some information. Look for information. Look for the rules. And uh, keep it ready for Monday. Okay. My dear students, I think that's all for today. Let me see. Yes, please investigate the rules for plurals, practice the conversation, and finish working on the platform. Okay, for Monday. <clears throat> Sorry. Make so I can move out, my God. <laughs> so, my dear class, I am going to see you on Monday for another class. Have a beautiful weekend. Practice and start. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. my dear students. Bye. Bye, Enjoy bye. your night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Teaching la clase del sábado. Si vienen a la clase del sábado, obligatorio traer un café y tamal. Tengo la taza lista. Definitely. En la piso que sabía, right? Tamal, café y que sabía. Y que sabía. Yeah, si no, allá nos vemos en los planes. For the class. <laughs> Good. Have a wonderful night, my dear class. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. See you on Monday. Have a good night.